What is up guys, it's Mike Shmaim here and welcome to episode 7 of my Gothic 3 playthrough. In this particular episode I will explore and complete all of Mert Montara quests which I can complete. Some quest requires certain things. Um, if, for example, I have to go to different cities and whatnot, just like in Cape Dunn, I will do them in the episode afterwards or whenever I get near that city slash have to go to that city. So without further ado guys, let's go. Uh, first we'll go towards that little cave over there, which will be filled with wolves, but in that particular area, in that cave, I will find a couple of wolves as well as Wenzel's sword. Now, I do not have the quest for Wenzel's sword, which you will only get as a rebel, as far as I know. But, um, you know, I will still get it, and if I can give it back to Wenzel, I will do so, and if not, I might as well sell it, because it's a one-handed sword, as far as I know. If it's a two-hander, I will wear it, if it's better. But if it's a one-hander, even if it is better, I will not wear it. Weed wolfies. I got to eat, man. <laughs> now, these stray wolves are also quest related towards one of the farms on the other side of Montera. Um, so, I will again have two flies into one stone. But, you know, I'm merely here for the wolves, and uh, the rest is, you know, free in the same process. That's a bit too many wolves. Nice, sweet Wolfie. That takes care of that quest, even though I haven't retrieved it yet. You know, having knowledge of the game works always in your advantage. Let me quickly drink a mana potion and uh, let's loot this cave. Which I can loot, obviously, because there might be chests here that are not capable of being pickpocketed yet, due to my lack of picking locks. Let's see if I have an open lock spell and uh, nope. Which power? Oh, Adenos. Eventually, uh, with 230 ancient knowledge, I will uh, be allowed to uh, learn open locks, which means that I can pretty much open everything. Oh, I can't wait for time bubble, so OP. 
But anyways, you know. Too hard. Let's go to Montera and uh, start the questing there as well. I will also lure away the orcs at the slave guard, uh, you know, slave campsite, due to the fact that most of which are just regular scouts, regular orcs, no names whatsoever, and uh, you know, it will allow me to get some reputation with the rebels. But I will not kill them myself. I will knock them down, but I will not kill them. So if the rebels don't kill them, then you know they will rise up and then get killed anyway so let's do that as well so uh, here we go can't you see i'm busy i need your help with a really big reptile back there <laughs> you weakling where is the beast a few yards down the south road out of my way let a master deal with it See, the orcs are not really that smart. What's wrong? Can you hunt? I am an orc. Of course I can hunt. Well, I don't know. I'll prove it to you, you greenhorn. All right. I saw a couple of big reptiles down the south road. I'll get them. Just watch me, Mora. Now, only get two orcs at a time because once you're done with the second one, you can deal with the first, and then the second one will approach, you can I'll deal with him, and then uh, you get the other two. I'll tear you apart. Die! You showed him. I've still got it. Wait for it. Now you're going to bleed. I'll tear you apart. Ah! 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 No! Ah! Ah! Die! I've still got it. All right, so let's get the second and final wave of the uh, two slave camp guards. Your boss is looking for you. What does he want this time? No idea. Ask him yourself. Where is he then? He's waiting for you away down the south road. All right, I'm going. These orcs are really stupid. I mean, I wouldn't fall for that. What do you want, Mora? One of your slaves ran away. What? Where? Down the road, to the south. I'll take care of it right away. I don't have a problem with that. Karma is a bitch. Because as a servant of Adonos, it's always important to maintain the power of balance. At least try to, you know. But in the end, a balance never remains. I'll chop you to pieces! Still got it. The slave camp guards are gone. Great. So the right time to storm the city has almost come. Carry on like that, mate. 
Bet you can use a few gold coins, right? Who is your spy in Montera? He will reveal himself to you when you tell him our password. The password is Long Live Okara. Really? Just don't ask. It wasn't my idea. I see. Tell me more about Okara. Okara is our rebel headquarters. It is located north of Montera. You should drop by there sometime. We can always use people like you. But I also use this possibility to learn and to find out who is the rebel underground within the cities so that I can cut off their heads because uh, in the end I do work for the orcs. Ah, a new man. You've come in the nick of time. What are you doing here? I'm watching the slaves. But with these crappy conditions, it's no fun, let me tell you. There's always something new. Supply problems, slaves run away, and I don't know what all. Damn it all! I just want some peace. Do you need help? These emaciated figures all look the same to me. I can't make heads or tails of it anymore. You should take a closer look at the boys and tell me who needs to be exchanged. Exchanged? What do you mean? We can't have the poor dogs digging in the temple all the time. They need a break too. So we exchange the slaves with the farms once a week. The work out there is a bit easier. The boys recover really well. I'll find you a slave. Fine, but don't take too long. Let's loot this place over here. I do need to keep the teeth so I can make uh, sharp arrows out of those which will deal more damage. How can I be of assistance? Fresh water, new tools, unused torches? As long as the gold is right, I can get you anything you want, stranger. Show me what you've got. Certainly. Just tell me what you need. Show me your goods. Um, he really doesn't have anything of value besides the potion, but I can make those myself, so no need to purchase it. So let's sell. I need to keep those so I can make some sharp arrows out of them. Four K gold works. <laughs> Google, what are you doing, man? I didn't ask you to search for something. Stupid phones. Have you come to mock me too? What's eating you? Seems like you haven't heard about my encounter. I come from the desert and was traveling through the land with my caravan. Those cursed rebel dogs ambushed me outside the city and took everything. What did you have? Valuables, rarities, luxuries, artifacts and jewelry. What misery. If at least I had my old gold casket. It is of inestimable personal value to me. 
Here is your old gold casket. It was still lying in the road to the west with your other stuff. You son of a dog! That is fantastic! I will richly reward you for this, my pale friend. Show me your goods. Ooh, three axes and a stone tablet of ancient knowledge, which I also need. Mm, not gonna get the other ones. They are handy, but not really important. Which means I now have enough to learn how to tame animals. Aside from the fact that there is no one to teach me around here. But maybe the druid will go there in that direction soon anyways. You look thirsty, stranger. Give me something to drink. No problem. Is there anything here besides booze? Depends on what you need. Every piece of information costs five gold coins, although we could just trade. What'll it be? Tell me something about this city. Montera is a trading city, and how could it be otherwise occupied by the orcs? But the orcs mostly stay inside the castle. The orcs mercenaries rule the outer districts of Montera. This is the merchant quarter of the city, but don't expect too much. Since the orcs started digging up the whole city, very few merchants have found their way to Montera. How do you get along with the mercenaries? Well, so-so. Marek is the leader of the troop. If the boys cause any trouble, Marek gives them a rap on the knuckles. Where do I find this Marek? His hut is diagonally across from the bar, but he's also often found at the inner castle gate. Who leads the orcs in this city? His name is Varek. So far, I haven't laid eyes on him myself. Up to now, he hasn't come out of the inner castle yard. Is there any work to be had here? A fighter like you should join the mercenaries. That's probably best for you, and makes you a lot of gold. The real fat cats in the city, of course, are the orcs. But for that, you have to be tolerated inside the castle by the orcs. Tell me more about the excavations. Wherever there are ruins of the ancient ones left, the orcs dig up everything they can find. Who knows what they're looking for? I've heard that meanwhile there are excavations like this in almost every city. Show me your goods. Are you serious? And another pickaxe, nice. Which means I have a total of 8 out of 21. Nice. I would just steal them, you know, because uh, I think I would get, you know, stop! Some valuable things have gone missing here! You know, you know what I mean. Don't hit me, please! What are you doing here? I thought I'd take a break here in this hut. No one's using it now anyways, but I think I'd better get back to work. I'm gonna take a break. Hey, you! What are you doing sneaking? You better go now! Stop! See? Some valuable things have gone missing here. Do you know anything about that? No. We're watching you. If you want to buy weapons or learn smithing from me, you'll have to pay for it, Mora. Here's some gold. Now will you trade with me? Tell me what you want. Teach me something about being a smith. You aren't ready for that. Show me your goods. 
Well, let's see what he has. My weapon is not really better, but when I got it for free, hey, you're all right, Mora. I know. You won't get that, Mora. Ah. Alright, so let's put on my better armor. So now officially I am a mercenary. Eventually they will all submit. I will keep the leather garb as collectible because I can. Nah, I will sell it later, but you know. Don't want to talk to the same guy. Let's uh see if I can find the leader here. A new delivery? Put it with the others. Are you the warehouse keeper? Stupid question. You can see that. It's no bed of roses, let me tell you. When everything is running smoothly, nobody's interested in what I do all day. But if anything is missing, they all panic right away. Now I will not say long live Okara just yet. I will do that after I got his uh, quests completed, you know. Because then I will report instantly to the leader of the mercenaries here that he is a rebel underground, which means I have to kill him, so. Do you also sell your wares? Sure. You only need to ask. Do you need anything? I need 15 sacks of wheat from the grain farm to the north, and I need them fast. What do you think will happen here if the others don't get any more bread? What else are you missing? You won't believe it, but I still need five milk barrels from the stockyard in the west. Really? Well, like I said, the job is no bed of roses. Any other belly aches? I think that is all I need in the way of goods for now. Well, that's a comfort. Show me your goods. Another pickaxe? Good, good, good. Why don't you go and get the crap yourself? You have to help us out a bit. Who says I want to? You'll do the right thing. I'm sure of it. Yeah, I got no choice but to do the right thing. As if it were so easy. Now the leader is over there near the end of the gate. So uh, let's first go to Sobata. The uh, Hushin up here. Greetings, stranger. Why have you come to me? Who are you? My name is Sobata. I have the honorable task of providing for the continued presence of slaves in this city. Do you need help? Help is always necessary for someone like me in this city. As a rule, all the good fighters here are just lapdogs of that Marek. No one has the courage to work on his own initiative. What about you, stranger? What do you need? Despite my razor-sharp attention, two of my slaves have escaped. I would like to get them back. I assume that they would pose no problem for a strong fighter like you. You need a man with fighting strength to bring back a broken-down slave? Well, the case is somewhat more complex. Marek just grabbed a slave right out from under my nose and gave him to one of his people. I knew there was a catch. The fellow who owns my slave now is called Dan. He is a gladiator in the arena. I see. Tell me more about your lost slaves. One of my slaves now works for the orc smith Thoric. Marek assigned him to the fat orc for cleaning services. He's my property, and I want him back. Alright, so let's first deal with the slave with the smithy. Hmm. 
You're not working for Sabota again. Fine with me. I'll take you out of here. Good. Hey, stop right there, you bastard! What do you think you're doing? Just walking off with my slave? Now, you can pay for the slave, or you can just say, I take what I want. If you want a secondary quest from this guy, pay for the slave, which I will do. I'll pay you for the slave. Pay? First you'll pay for the audacity of stealing from me. Yes, Give me 1,000 gold coins, and we'll forget the whole thing. We should teach them all as a lesson. Here's your 1,000 gold. Good. Now give me another 100 for the slave. Fine, here. Yeah. All right, here's another 100 gold. Fine. Now you may go. That's what you always say. Now, the uh, quest that he will later give you is uh, finding about five lumps of ore, I think, that you will get a couple of days for, you know. Sometimes it gets booked. I'm not quite sure why or how. But uh, let's hope, in my case, that's not the case, and otherwise it's just 1100, of which I get 1000 back, so. Thoric's slave is working for you again. Very good, stranger. I knew I could rely on you. You will receive your reward immediately. So I only made a loss of 100, which is fine. You know, I can miss that. Alright, so let's get the replacements for the farm <sighs> my goodness I'm working my ass off here I hope my relief gets here soon what's a short break worth to you oh man I'll give you everything I have if you get me out of here all right what have you got I found this artifact here the strange chalice I would let you have that. Hmm. You say you found a chalice? A fire chalice, maybe? What do I know? I don't understand these things, pal. You can take a break. Go to the stockyard. Thanks, friend. I'm already on my way. Wait a moment. You forgot something. Oh, yeah. Here's the chalice I found. Have a nice day, friend. When is the relief finally coming? I'm going crazy here. What will you give me if I get you out of here? But I don't have anything. What could I give you? Tell me something about your overseer, Bradley. Bradley does his own sleazy business here in the camp. Every slave here wants to get out to the farms. Nobody wants to work in here. Bradley has this list. If you're at the top of Bradley's list, you get to go to the farms for a while. That damn swine makes us pay to move to the top of his list. I see. Today is your lucky day. You can go to the stockyard. Thanks, my friend. I couldn't stand it here much longer. You're welcome. Take my advice. Never change. I took care of the slaves. So I see. I'd have done it differently, but whatever. Now we need new workers here in camp in a hurry. Go I tell Dennis right from the them. stockyard outside the city that he should send me new people. You better stay out of it. Well, we have a big problem. Alright, so let's talk with the leader of the human orc mercenaries. Are you lost? I suppose the orc guards by the castle gate don't stand around there for no reason. Certainly not. Don't even think of simply stumbling into the castle yard. The orcs will attack anyone they don't know in the inner ward of the castle. What does that mean? It means that you have to render outstanding services to the city before they accept you. Only then can you move freely among them and talk to their leader. Hmm. This sounds familiar. Who are you? My name is Merrick. I'm the leader and trainer of the mercenaries in Montera. If you cause any trouble here, I will be held responsible, and that would be very bad for you. Get it? Have you got anything for me to do? 
There's always work for a mercenary here in Montera, but I have a very special task for you. They barely know your face in town. That's a huge advantage for you. How come? I can use you against my own people, and they won't make the connection. You distrust your own people? <laughs> Why would that surprise you? Take a look around. Every one of these nitwits thinks of nothing but his own profit. If we cooperated with the orcs a bit more, we'd all be doing better in Mertana. I see. You want me to work as your spy. <laughs> oh, come on. Do you feel like you're too good for a job like that? I don't think you've got a choice, really. Fine. I'll work for you. Wise decision. Then let's not waste any time. Fine. What exactly should I do as your spy? Lately, there's been an increasing number of strange incidents in Monterra and on the farms. Goods are stolen, slaves disappear, farms are raided, and so on. All of this stinks to high heaven of rebels and treason. I want you to find out who among my people is reliable and who isn't. You'll be well rewarded with gold and notoriety, and I will teach you how to fight. I'll be in my hut by the western entrance to the city. exactly what I think. What about the hut next to your house? That old shack, you mean? You can have it if you like. No one's been living there for ages. We should teach them all this About the mercenaries. One of your boys is shirking work. Let me guess. It's Trano again, right? This is the last time. What you Go tell him I'm cutting his pay. You have to watch what you say. Bradley's <laughs> fleecing the slaves. I know. The slaves will pay gold to get on the rotation list. And Bradley passes this gold on to me. Are you sure that you see all of the gold? No, I'm not. I need to have a look at that list. <laughs> How should I test the loyalty of your people? No idea. Talk to them, work for them, befriend them. How you do it is not your problem. Got it. I'll see what I can do. Do you know anything about Zardis? Yes, he managed to stop the war. The way he stopped the rune magic was a good idea. He's a brilliant man. I'm glad he's not my enemy. You seem to like Zardis. That's saying a bit much, really. I know next to nothing about the Dark Mage, but I like the idea of finally ending this eternal battle between orcs and humans. Zardis seems to play the key role in this. He's got big plans for the orcs. I don't find that very reassuring. Whatever. Despite everything they say about him, even Zardis is only human after all. Where can I find Zardis? I don't know where the mage has made his home. They say only the orc shamans know his true location. As far as I know, some of the most important shamans of the orcs are in Geldern and Sildan. But I don't know all that for sure. I'm only a human. A rather unfriendly mercenary named Dominic told me to report to you. Ah, yes. He told you that? Oh, well, you're here now. Let's see how many learning points I have. 20. Mm, yeah, I need my large weapon 3. So, let's change strength a bit. About the mercenaries. That lazy bum still owes me the revenue from his farm. Tell him to give you the gold or I'll have his head, okay? Would you teach me how to fight? That's the way. Carry on. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> Carry on like that. Take my advice. Thanks. I hope you go you all guys don't mind. Hmm? I need to find an alchemist's bench to create some uh, HP portions. Aha! Methinks I haven't had the pleasure of putting a fist in your face, have I? What do you think of Merrick? Nothing would work here if it weren't for Merrick, that's for sure. You should probably do it yourself. It doesn't get much worse. You have to watch.
watch what you say. Yeah, what can I tell you? It's the same old story. Advice. Sure, why not? If you don't want any trouble Isn't with my master, you better not talk to me. His name is Dan, and he's a gladiator. So watch out. Pay attention to it. Ah, fresh meat? Some problem Tell me about Merrick. I would love to beat him in the arena. The others think the world of him, but it's all just bullshit if you ask me. Merrick is a total loser. I'd bet my head on that. What's the prize if I defeat you? If you beat me, I'll give you 500 gold coins. Once you have paid Ashton, that is. You look like you could do with a thrashing or two. Tell me about your boss. Above Merrick, he's got all kinds of problems with this bunch of losers. But as far as I can see, he's got it all under control. Is that your slave over there? Yes. Merrick stuck me with him. No idea what I'm supposed to do with the fellow. You can have him if you like. I'll use him as my entry fee for an arena fight. Give your starting fee to Ashton, and there you are. Clueless? What do you mean? You look pretty clueless to me. Running around here, babbling at everybody. Are you looking for something? Do you like your boss? Yep. Merrick is good. We mercenaries don't have this much freedom anywhere in the Midlands. I'm looking for a teacher. Can you teach me something? I think so. I can show you how to reach into other people's pockets, things like that. But you have to earn it first. Defeat me in a fight, and I will be your teacher. Hey, Pipsqueak! Before you get to fight in my arena, you must pay me your entry fee. 500 gold coins, or get out of here! Here's my entry fee, then. Great! Welcome to the Monterra Arena. <laughs> Has everyone here paid an entry fee? What do you think? No entry fee, no fight. It's as easy as that. You will get your gold back, along with mine, once you have defeated me in the arena. I want you to fight me. Whoa, kid. I'm the champion here. Maybe you should warm up a little before you dare to challenge me. I'm not gonna enter the arena with you until there is nobody else left here to fight you. All right, let the fighting begin then. Fight with me in the arena. All right. I guess I'd better get my weary bones moving, hmm? Something like that. Come here, boy. There's a fight. <laughs> It didn't block. God damn it. Now, as always, guys, you know, in moments like these, make sure to use the timestamps to your heart's content in the description down below just to make sure that you can skip these loading screens you can skip the quests whatever you want to skip you can skip you know so uh, if you don't want to see the loading screen because I reload because of my gold you know and make sure to check out the description down below and uh, it will be filled with lots of timestamps and lots of love Now where's you go? Oh. All right, so here we go again. Second try. Come here, boy.
free pickaxe, nice. Next time, you won't get off so easily. Missing anything? Like maybe your dignity? You have a curious fighting style, stranger. Well, in any case, you beat me. Whatever. Now I will show you everything a thief can do. Meet me in the arena. There's nothing I would rather do. Alright, so here goes the second fight. Oh, man. What do you want? Come here, boy. Ah! Folks, there's a fight. Don't ah! let up. <clears throat> That's the way. <sighs> Ultimately, they'll make you do it. Come on, my friend, wakey wakey. Anything is possible. Oh, my head. Yeah, sure. you're a good friend. But you don't look the part if you ask me. What about the prize? Go ahead and take my slave. I have no real use for him anyway. Well, what can I tell you? It's the same old story. Who's next, huh? Anything is possible. Sure Fight with me. All right. See you in the arena. All right, here goes uh, fight number three. I'll just wait and see. Then show. Hey, folks! <laughs> 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 Then show me what you've got. It doesn't matter to you. Just wait. Uh, There's a fight. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 Thanks for your weapon. It is a two hundred, but not better. Ah, oh, it has worn. Useless. The next time. Okay, not bad. You knocked me right over, man. Here's your prize money. Thanks. Now who's next? Hmm? Goose. Let's fight in the arena, show off. Let's season what you've got. Probably more than you can handle, but I'm not gonna say that too loud. Because uh, I get my ass whooped a couple of times already. Like two, I think. Come here! Hey, folks, there's a fight! It can't be. Child's play. Alright, so let's drink some water. We should teach the Moras next time. It's my turn. Everything in one piece? Heavens, you pack an incredible punch, brother. Here's your prize money. Thanks. Anyone else? I don't think there was, but let me check number that. So let's challenge Ashton. 
Oh, Ashton. Oh, man. What Prepare you yourself, want? great champion. There's nobody left but the two of us. You really want to go up against me? Be my guest, then. You get what you ask for. Let's kick this guy's arse, I hope. At some point I will, but... Ah! Hey, folks, a fight. Ah! 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 Well, he defeated me once. I know it's you know lame to reload guys but uh, I don't want to lose one my weapon and two uh, my gold because uh, I need my gold and I need my weapon so just make sure to use the description you know whatever whenever this kind of things occur because uh, I just do it for my own better good because at the late game everything is going to be uh, you know expensive expensive Come here. Hey, folks, there's a fight. That's the way. Also worn. No. But, champion of Montera. Now I know Ashton's chest Damn, is uh, behind that there. Hurts. Oh, but I will not get it Boy, unless I got not. the, you know, information from one of the slaves on the farm. Who is the champion now? You broke all my bones, you bastard! Stop crying already. I want my gold. Yeah, yeah, here's your prize money back. Looks like you forgot something. Uh, and my 500 gold coins, too. Happy now? Happy as a man can be. Thanks. Yeah, don't like it at all. Wow, you knocked Ashton right out of his boots. No one's ever done that before. I'm not no one. <laughs> Oh, oh, I, I forget the slave. I need the slave for Sobata, one of the Hashishin slave traders. We have a new arena champion. Don't mind your own business. You're working for Sobota again. If you say so. I'll take you out of here. Good. What's up? The slave of the gladiator Dan is yours once again. You're good. I never doubted it for a moment. Here is your pay. Merrick isn't exactly your friend. No, not exactly. But as long as the mercenaries outnumber us in this city, you come to terms with it, or you die. First a break. You'd better go now. Let's talk with Merrick. 
I heard that you defeated Ashton in a fight. Amazing. You have reason to be proud. About the mercenaries. Fedor thinks you are a weakling. He says he could defeat you in the arena, hands down. Ah, yes. I suspected as much. It's high time I once again showed the boys in the arena who's boss. Dan the Gladiator is very pleased with your work. I should think so. I gave him a slave, after all. Oh, well. Here's your pay. Goose the Gladiator appears to be loyal. Yes. Goose is a good man. I've heard that you are the new arena champion in Montera. Congratulations. That's really something. What do you think of your leader, Merrick? Merrick is an orc lover. He was already working with him during the war. He's such a toady. Always sucking up to Varric, the leader of the orcs. His leadership qualities leave something to be desired. Everybody here is out for himself and has skeletons in his closet. I don't particularly like Merrick. He's a self-righteous asshole. Show me your goods. No, let's sell a bit. Oh, I can't sell Wenzel's sword because it's quest related. Good to know. Uh, let me sell the leather garb as well. Only the mercenary armors I will keep. You know, the human orc mercenary armors and the water mage robe as well as the nomad's armor if I get them or the druid slash ranger armors depending on the path that is I check you know in this case the path of Adenos 12,000 would you look at that thanks all right so let's go and uh, get the list What do you think of Merrick? Well, I don't know. I don't have much to do with him. I think he does his job pretty well. Long live Okara. Yeah, sure. And your little dog, too. I could have told you that. About the mercenaries. Sanford isn't very fond of you. Did he say so? Yes, in no uncertain terms. Oh well, as long as he does his work, I don't care what he thinks of me. This is Bradley's list of slaves. Mm. Looks all right. I guess Bradley is cleared then. Here, for your effort. You better take this list back to Bradley right away. Hmm. Oh boy. What's the problem? You simply stole it from him, didn't you? <laughs> well, my friend, this is your problem. Would you teach me how to fight? <clears throat> That's the way. That's the way. Carry on like that. Now I only need uh, one more level and a trainer to learn the mastery of two-handed weapons and that one will be completed so let's get the list back to what was his name again Bradley here is your slave list what what are you doing digging oh, through my stuff I ought to skin you alive and there's so much that can happen now you have That's your list wrong. back don't do that again or you'll regret it well, we have a big problem when we do No, I will not. But I'm not here to fight. All right, so let's get the lazy, lazy bugger near the tower.
Merrick has cut your pay. I knew you'd rat me out, you scumbag. I'll remember this. You're not gonna leave. Really? We're gonna have to do this the hard way, huh? This hill ain't big enough for the both of us. Oh, really? And what are you gonna do about it? So, are you going back to work again or not? Calm down. I'm going already, you lunatic! Good. Let's start walking, you dumb idiot. He's not being paid to sit around on his horrors all day. Let's talk with the rebels here and then I will quickly go to the farms and uh, get the quests there done. Uh, where's Otis? Your meeting place is clear. You're good, stranger. Now the situation isn't quite so hopeless. What about your contact in Montera? I don't know who he is exactly. All I know is that he'll give us a sign when it's time to attack. Since then, we've been waiting here like idiots. I see. Alright, so... I also have to go back to the farm, but... To get through there, I either have to walk all the way around it. Hmm... Hmm... I do have to teleport the stone of this city, right? Oh, let me check. Um, Montera, indeed, that I do. Okay. Let me, let's go to the uh, farm, but I will take a detour. Because if I go through there, I will uh, have to deal with the orcs. And uh, since I wanted to go to one of the druids anyways, might as well go surround around it you know and uh, see if I can learn team or oh, summon animals which is the first one I can learn I hope so because that would help me a bit a tiny bit all right so let's use transformation Now the only reason why I'm taking the detour is for one, to see if the druid can teach me something about Adenor's magic and two, it takes way too long to, you know, take care of the bandits and since I want, want to do as much of the Montera quests in this episode particularly as possible, you know, I will have to uh, take some smart choices. I will take care of them at some point nevertheless, maybe the next episode. But, uh, you know, for the time being, this is a smarter choice. Oh. Well, that's, uh, that's a shame. Well, let me check nevertheless, because if he can teach me, other druids can as well. Some things will never change. I do want to read that book. Ugh. Why oh, did you like me? Teach me something about ancient magic. Sure, why not? Summon animals. He can teach me. Oh, that's very good to know. Too bad that book was just a lectern.
But be aware, if you die as a beast, it's still game over. It's not that you, that if you die, you'll be transported back, you know, back to your human form. And uh, these beasties attacks are really not that great, so I just mainly use them as transportation of some sorts. Quite close and leveling up, but I don't think I will get level up just by getting this quest done. Damn, what's wrong? I went to see the orc leader in Montera. You did? Well, it was time. He's still waiting for the rent from this farm. You are to hand me the gold at once, or he'll come out here and have your head. Um, all right, all right, so uh, here it is. No hard feelings, huh? Yeah, yeah. Show me your goods. Let's teleport back to Montera since I haven't leveled up yet. About the mercenaries. Trano is working again. Good for him. Here's your pay. I've got the rent from Dominic. <laughs> Great. Scared the living daylights out of that lazy pig, did you? Keep the gold as your pay. I consider the payoff well worth it. Thanks. Now one part remains, which is the farms. So uh, let's go to the farms. Now this episode will most likely be quite a long one, but always make sure to check the description should you want to skip certain situations and whatnot, you know. Now I need five barrels of milk. That's all we need. Yeah, someday this will all be over. So, how about it, arena champion? Is this your yard? I'm the boss here, if that's what you mean. I see to it that the stockyard works as it should. Still, I don't like it at all. I'm looking for work. Great, I've got something for you. My people are obviously too stupid to deal with this. Lately, a pack of stray wolves has been roaming the area. They creep up to the yard at night and eat our livestock from right under our noses. I would pay you a good deal if you could make them go away. Bradley needs new slaves. All right, just take what you can find here. <laughs> Tell Bradley he shouldn't work the slave so hard. I can barely use his people in my yard. Well, since I will not go back in the direction of the druid, um, might as well use it to invest a bit into strength. The stray wolves have been eliminated. You mean I can relax now? Sure looks like it. That's a comforting thought. Good job. Here's your reward. I need one more barrel of milk at least. You haven't come to send me back to town, have you? Forget it. I'm staying here on the farm. You're going to work in town again from now on. Oh, no. 
Please, I can't bear the pain of the excavations anymore. There's so much that can happen. Oh well, then what can you offer me? I could give you some information that will help you gain favor with the mercenaries. Doesn't get much worse. Okay, tell me what you've got. Listen then. Not too long ago, Dennis sent some of his people to the grain farm to cause some trouble there. No idea what it was that they did, but I'm sure they were up to no good. What? That was it? I'm sorry. That's all I know. Get moving to the excavations now, or I'll drag you there. All right, all right, I'm going. Working on the farm here isn't that bad at all. Especially when I think of the poor beggars down at the excavations. You're needed at the excavations in town. Don't even say that. I can't go. Working at the excavations is the job from hell. You have no idea. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't send you. I could tell you where to find a treasure. Where is this treasure? Oh no, it's not that easy. How do I know you won't send me to work in town anyway if I tell you? So, what do you want? I want you to go to Dennis and tell him that I should stay here. Then I'll let you know where there is some treasure to be had. I will talk to Dennis. All right, I will wait. I will let the slave Kelvin stay here in the yard. Mind with me. I talked to Dennis. Are you happy now? Fine. Listen up then. Ashton the mercenary lets the other mercenaries fight in his arena in Monterra. Everybody knows they're all fighting for gold. Ashton turns the gold into his boss, but I know that most of it ends up in his own pocket. He hides his gold under a bush behind the arena so he won't be found out. How do you know about this thing with Ashton? Once when I was cleaning his rooms, I watched him hide his gold. All right, mate. Now you're going to work in the temple again anyway. Oh, please. You can't mean that. Yes, I can. You're a right bastard, you know. People need break too, you know. All right, so this part has been done. Let's go to the grain farm. for the orc mercenaries, do you? And if I were? All right. Then I didn't say anything. Who are you looking for? I must get out of here. But the mercenaries are, are watching my every step. I need someone strong who can distract them while I make a run for it. You're one of the slaves, aren't you? Unfortunately. Worse. That wasn't always the case, but today there isn't much choice. <laughs> As if it were so easy. It's pretty brave of you telling me something like that. Ah, right. What have I got Still, to lose? Go like Either this. you help me now, or I'm done for. Sure. Maybe I can help yeah. you. I have to get to Okara, and as fast as possible. The rebels worse. are waiting for me there. I have a very important message for them. As if it were so easy. What sort of message for the rebels? It's all we Forget it. I was careless enough telling you about it at all. Well, think about it. All right, I'll get you out of here. How are you going to do that? Doesn't matter to you. When the time is right, you'll know. Someday this will be. 
which is uh, going to be for the next episode. First have to take care of the green and the green thieves and the farm here. Get all the reputation in Montera. A couple of inside inner gate quests and then it's job done. What is it? Are you unhappy with your pay as well? Go back to work. That's no way to talk to me. Well, well, well. Another no good tramp who wants my job. We can discuss that while we cross our blades. I'll show ya! There's a fight! Well done! He asks for it, you know. Still need five sacks of grain, which is the ones that the grain thieves took. Well, you're right, sir. You're not going to get away with this. Get lost already. I have better things to do than picking fights with tramps. Relax. I want to work for you. No way. I have no use for a troublemaker like you. I've got better things to do than keeping an eye on the likes of you. If I don't watch out, the slaves will take off and the boys will just hang around and be idle. I think you may need my help. Oh, damn. I have a feeling that I'm going to regret this. First, show me what you've got. Then, maybe I'll think about it. Slaves are escaping from your farm? Yes, damn it. Go ahead and rub it in. Not enough that this Marek is constantly after me. My own people are making fun of me now. You should get your lads going somehow. Light a fire under them. Great suggestion. The only thing that could motivate them now is alcohol. We're either going to be stabbed by grain thieves or overrun by the undead from the castle to the east. What about the rebels? The royalists are lying low in the mountains or hanging around outside of Montera. The rebels aren't a serious threat. The grain thieves up north are more cause for worry. They will come at night and steal those sacks of wheat right from under our noses. I'm halfway expecting to wake up with a slashed throat while my own people are snoring in the hay, sleeping off a hangover. Did you just say undead? If you follow the path to the east, it will take you to the old paladin stronghold. It's nothing but ruins these days, but still inhabited, if you get my drift. I wouldn't go too close to the castle if I were you. Tell me about Merrick. He is an orc mercenary, just like me. Merrick is our leader here in Montera. He sees to it that everybody works and doesn't just do what they damn well want to. I'd like to know how he does that. I can't even handle the handful of people here on the farm. One of your slaves is in contact with the rebels. Oh, this is getting better and better. Is there no end in sight? All right, you take care of it. I can't do everything, can I? I see. Dennis set your hay bales on fire. Yes, I know. That swine is mocking me, too. Let him, then. He who laughs last, laughs best. I will take care of the grain thieves. You want to do what my people haven't accomplished in weeks? Ha! Go ahead, I want to see that. You will be surprised, my friend. Alright, so let's take care of these green thieves. But first, let's loot the second hunt bind here. Let's hope it doesn't get me into trouble. And if it does, so shall it be. Oh! 
Alright, so that was that. Let's go to the green thieves. nearly got me. Now there will be a couple of uh, snappers in the vicinity. Make sure that you can handle them before you do this. Or use other advantages like you know, assuming one and then uh, use it to attack the others. Let's just make a uh, extra quick save to be on the safe side. today. Let's save again because uh, this is going to be the tricky part. Stop right 
な。So, I'll get you after all. Do it, get you after all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, now let's loot these corpses and uh, get the green sacks and then go quickly back to the farm and uh, get the quest done, complete all the quests in Montera, speak quickly with the leader of Montera and do a couple of quests there in the inner yard which I can do and then uh, we're gonna go to the next episode. This is going to be uh, quite a long episode, I think at least in one and a half hours. But uh, just make sure to check the descriptions and I'll make sure that uh, everything important is timestamped, you know. You won't lose any more sleep over those grain thieves. Don't tell me you sent them all running. Hardly. They are dead. <laughs> Amazing! That was no mean feat. Wouldn't you like to work for me? I already did. <laughs> That's true. And not for free, either. I will pay you the money that my people were going to get. Just don't spend it all on booze. What about those stolen sacks of wheat? Take them to Montera, together with the ones here on the farm. The boys must be waiting for them by now. Some problems solve themselves. About the mercenaries. Dennis is having a running battle at the grain farm. That idiot! I'll have to go out there to put an end to this nonsense. Thanks for the information. Elber is having massive problems leading his people on the grain farm. Mm. You think I should replace him? You said that. Right. I'll think about it. Good work. Keep it up. Ashton is embezzling gold from you for the arena fights. Is he really? How would you know that? I need proof. Would you teach me how to fight? 
I'm gonna keep the learning points for now to see if one of the orcs maybe in the inner yard can teach me the mastery of two-handed weapons. If not, then I will invest it, of course, into strength once again. Dennis says you shouldn't work the slaves so hard. That smartass. Let him do this job then. Whatever. Thanks. Here's your reward. The slave Leon is working in the temple again. Good. The slave Kelvin is working in the temple again. Good work. Here's a few coins. Here are your sacks of wheat. Well, finally. Here is a bit of gold for your service. Here are your milk barrels. You are really good. I know. Well then, here is your pay. Show me your goods. Let's sell a bit, as you can see. Uh, that's about it. Long live Okara. You bastard. Where did you pick that up? Talk! You are a rebel spy. And if I am? I know, man, I know. The whole world knows that anyway. Damn. We'll have to improve on our security. I can only hope for our sake that you are also for the king. Some problem solve themselves. No, you're not. I'll kill you, you dirty rebel. You can try. I'll tear you apart. Hey, folks, there's a fight. <coughs> 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 Let's see what he has to say before I'm gonna report him into Marek and get the quest to actually kill him. Next time, it's my turn. Tell me more about Okara. Okara is the central rebel camp in the Midlands. I absolutely have to make contact with Roland, the leader of Okara. Unfortunately, I can't leave here, but you can. Can you take a message to Roland? When will you rebels strike? That depends on what you have to tell me. Why me? I've seen a lot of men, but no one I would trust to lead a revolution. You've got the right stuff. Unfortunately, you're working for the wrong side. What do I have to do so that you will free Montero with me? In my position as warehouse keeper, I never even get inside the castle. If you should manage to completely infiltrate the orcs, we can talk about this some more. Worm your way into the orcs' confidence until they admit you to Varric, the orc leader. Only if we can get to their leader do we have a chance of winning the battle for Montera. I see. Give me the message. I'll take it to Okara. Good. Here it is. But don't get caught with it, alright?
about the mercenaries. I know, man, I know. Let me first get Ashton's gold real quick. You're bilking Merrick out of his gold. So, what are you gonna do about it? I don't have a problem with that. You will notice in a bit. Watch out for yourself. Things will never change. Oh, man, I know. You should probably do it yourself. About the mercenaries. I found this in Ashton's hidey hole behind the arena. Crap. Looks like you were right after all. That swine is raking in gold by the bushel. I need to have a serious talk with him. Very well done. Here's your pay. I've discovered the traitor among your people. Who is it? Sanford, the warehouse keeper. He's in cahoots with the rebels. Sanford? That's hard to believe. Have you got proof? Without solid evidence, this is a pretty bold allegation. I'll think about it. Look at this letter. Sanford wrote it to the rebels. Some problem, some the last four. Damn it. I'm going to have to eliminate Sanford, the traitor. And that won't exactly improve the morale of the troops. Here, you've earned this reward. I can get rid of Sanford for you. I suppose there's no other way. But be quick before the others get wind of it, understand? Some problem, some Would you teach me how to fight? Carry on like that. <clears throat> All right, so let's get this done. Are you serious? What do you want? Put away your weapon. Stop it right now. Stop right now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with me again. Gold. That's mine. I think I'll take the weapon with me. Here is some advice. Put down that. <laughs> you made the right decision. About the mercenaries. Sanford the warehouse keeper is dead. Very regrettable. But it's better this way. Well done. Here's your goal. Now, he is supposed to give you a quest for uh, finding magic ore. And I'm not quite sure why he's not giving me it. So, well, since he isn't giving me it, I cannot complete it. Um... So I'll try again in the next episode. You didn't mean to just walk past me, did you? What is in the castle? This is the residence of Varric the Great. Rarely is Amora tolerated in the inner circle of this castle. I see. Will you let me into the castle? Yes, but behave yourself. The boys in there are training and don't like to be disturbed. I see. Alright, so let's get, get this part quickly done, and then uh, it's finally about the end of the episode. Hey you, where do you think you're going? I'll have a look around here. You can have your look around in the slave quarters, you joker. Either you train with weapons here, or you make yourself scarce right away. Roll up your sleeves and get to work here, understand? 
Now don't you get on my nerves, too. I'll have you know, you are speaking to an orc commander. You think you're really strong, huh? Bet you've never been on a really dangerous mission. All right. What can I do for you? One of my people is shirking work. He's a strong warrior. Down too hard. But he's resting on the laurels he won during the war. But as long as the rebels are still pressing us, there's no reason to let ourselves go. I'll bring the orc warrior into the castle yard to report for work. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. His name is Follick. He's hiding out somewhere in the castle. Now let's see if I can lift this up. Oh, it gives five strength each. Ooh. Very interesting. I only thought one, but well, apparently it's five. Hey, you guys have an alchemist's bench. Uh, lovely. I don't have enough experience. But no bundles. Hmm? No bundles of weapons, no? Oh, that's a shame. Another one of you stinking moras. Who the devil let you in here? I don't like your looks, Mora. What's your problem? Up to now, your cowardly people have brought me nothing but trouble. The king's rebels hide in caves and woods, and prefer to attack from ambush. They avoid any open battle. Countless men of the Moras fight and work for our cause. As mercenaries, you fight in our arenas, and subjugate your own people. I despise that. Deeply. How are the excavations going? Our all-encompassing search for the divine artifacts is none of your business, Mora. It would be better for you if you turned your attention to the security of the city. Without the mercenaries, this city would collapse. Don't be so impudent, Mora. The fact that you are still alive is a sign of our benevolence. You seem to have some experience with the rebels. I certainly do. They are lurking outside the gates of this city, waiting for an opportunity to reconquer it. We have smashed their positions countless times, but they keep coming back. I heard that they get their supplies from a large rebel camp called Okara. I would love to smash that nest if I knew where it was. I could crush the rebel camp Okara. I expected nothing less from someone like you. If you find Okara and raise it to the ground, be appropriately rewarded. What do you know about Zardis? The much bigger question is, why are you interested in the bearer of Beliar's power? I know him. Many people claim that, but only a select few have ever really seen him. Just tell me where I can find Zardis. If you know him so well, then you ought to know where he prefers to stay. He built his tower in a secret place, far from all that is worldly. You will never set foot there anyway, Mora. What about the smaller rebel outposts outside of the city? Destroy them if you want. But if new rebels keep coming from Okara, that does not help us at all. Go and deal with Okara first before you bother me with niggling details. What do you know about the divine artifacts? You ask too many questions about things that are none of your business. Even if I knew what the power of those relics of the Ancient Ones was, I wouldn't share it with a mercenary. Why not? I work my RS off for you guys, and that's the thanks that I get. How many bundles? Ten. I need twenty for this guy, I think. I don't sell to Morris. I work for Merrick, the leader of the mercenaries. <sighs> If it were up to me, they'd send you filthy mercenary rabble to the mind of Gotha. Say what you came to say. My time is precious. Nice arsenal you've got here. I have a very select inventory of goods here, Mora. Don't mess things up, or else I'll chop off your fingers, understand? Do you need anything else? Get old weapons for me. I will send them to the smithy and have them refurbished. 
I think 20 bundles of weapons should do for a start. Where do I get bundles of weapons? The rebels fight with that kind of old junk. Wherever there are rebels, you will also find old weapons. I've got some old weapons for you. That's not enough. I need 20 bundles of weapons. Show me your goods. So I need 10 more. First, prove to me what you are worth, Mora. Alright, so let's uh, quickly find the uh, orc that is lazing about. Get his R's down here. No, I cannot loot anything, otherwise, you know, they will know it's me. So, unless I know how to make excuses, I will not do so. Oh, wrong area. Good. Not really, Paul. Would get off my tower. So this tower is all yours, or what? Go shoot off your mouth with those losers in the arena. I'll skin you alive if you don't make yourself scarce. We're all alone here, so show me what you've got. All right, you asked for it. No one beats me, Mora. No! Ah! Yeah! Ah! Yeah! Ooh! I don't dare to loot that chest, you know, don't want to get into trouble. Hurry up, fat orc. Ah, my bones. What, so you knocked me down? That proves nothing. They are looking for you. They want you in the castle yard. What if I won't go? Go down to the castle yard where the others are, or I'll make you. I'm going, but you leave me alone from now on, understand? Alright, so that mission is done as well, so let's get claim the reward. And end the episode, guys. Folek will show up for work in the castle yard from now on. What do you know? That Folek is one tough customer. Not bad for Amora. Not bad at all. We can really use someone like you around here. You can train a little more with me if you'd like. Would you teach me how to fight? What are you waiting for then? No, no, I have a large weapon, so alright. Good. You learn fast, Mora. Eventually they all submit. Alright guys, so uh, this is about the end, finally, of this episode. Seven Montera. Thank you guys for watching, and if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and uh, feel free to like, dislike, positive or negative comments whatever you deem necessary and i hope to see you guys in episode 8 good night to you all and i hope to see you all next time